Today we have the backbone of the Imperium's defense against the vile Xenos heretic a mutant. We got some incredible Astra Militarum Imperial Guard, uh, which has been a great project to work on for our clients. Uh, Ed, one of the team, has worked on this uh, and lovingly uh, put the client spec and brief onto the models. For those of you that have seen these on socials previously, a lot of you got it the guess correctly. They are themed after a certain uh, Starship Trooper color scheme uh, uniform. Uh, really, really great scheme overall. Um, I love the use of the chevrons and other little things in there just to really add an extra spot color to what is a sort of more desaturated color scheme with the dark grays, the blacks, uh, and things like that. Um, com force compositions, we've got the loads of new models here. Uh, some of it from the Cadia stands box. We've got obviously the new command squad, the brand new Sentinel, and these uh, ordnance platforms as well, which is just really, really great. Uh, let's jump in. Let's have a look at some of these models in all of their Imperial glory. Let's start with the Sentinel. Um, the, the Sentinel is probably really one of my favorite models from the Imperial Guard range. Uh, I remember back in the day having a lot of them in my own Katachan army. So to see a new version of it uh, with uh, lots more sort of uh, details and bulk added to it, I think is always really good. Um, I love what's been done with the weathering on these as well. You've got really nice subtle weathering across some of the armor panels and the sort of metallic areas. Uh, it looks very used, which is which is good as well, very battle hardened, which I think is great. Um, I love the use of the copper on sort of like the engine stack at the back and the cowlings just around the exhaust stacks. I think that's a really nice little uh, use of color there just to just pick out those details and just add a certain different kind of vibe to the model. Um, the use of the chevrons on some of the armor panels as well is really nice. I do really like those a lot. I think it just adds a lot to the overall look of the miniature. There's some really nice subtle spot colors as well. So we've got some yellow, we've got some red on there, obviously with the yellow chevrons. And then at the same time, there's like little yellow uh, sort of like bandings here on some of the missiles um, and obviously little red gems and lenses across the various areas of the models. Um, all the transfers have been applied as well to just add that heraldry onto the onto the models as well, which I think is really cool. Um, can't not talk about basing. We've got a very kind of like urban kind of battlefield kind of look on these bases. So you've got some tread plate here, some sort of pipe at work, and obviously we've got just some earthworks as well. The other one very much uh, very much the same, obviously, except this one's armed with a multi laser as opposed to the auto cannon. And incidentally, the whole force uh, of, of Sentinels is fully magnetized, so the weapons are interchangeable as well, which is quite cool and uh, gives flexibility for our client. Um, Again, same with this one, um, exactly the same sort of color colorization. Obviously, we've got some chevrons and things on just some of the on some of the leg panels and things. Um, use of blue on just the screens as well and the lights that you can see. But overall, really, really great use of color uh, for these Sentinels. Uh, we're going to leave the Command Squad till last. Uh, we're going to talk about these uh, ordnance platforms. Again, really cool model. I think the use of some artillery uh, for the guard is just uh, is really cool. I think it's something that the, the Rangers lack for some time, and I think. Uh, it's good that uh, Games Workshop have added that to the range just for all the guard players out there, uh, myself included. Um, I do really like the use of the plating on the floor to so, so sort of like show where the, the artillery is mounted to, and like the sort of like the, uh, the, the brace points of the artillery. It's actually on these plates, which is quite a cool little interaction for the basing. Um, and it just shows a, a lot of thought with regards to how it would actually function, which is something that's quite important when it comes to, to modeling, in my opinion. Um, but again, three members of crew on here, all in that sort of grey and black livery. Um, it's very akin to the uh, Starship Troopers kind of like colour scheme. Uh, I think it's just a really good use of that scheme on these models. So that's one of the platforms. We've got uh, two LAS cannons and then we've got two of these other ordnance platforms as well, which is great. So the LAS cannons, um, just really, really nice model as well, just with that really infamous shape of weapon and the instantly recognisable weapon that is a LAS cannon. I do love the almost briefcase or huge crate of, of power packs for the LAS cannon as well that's just next to this loader here, which is quite cool. So let's jump across the other LAS cannon. Again, really consistent from piece to piece. You've got exactly the same colorization with the hazard striping just on the um, on the on the front of the cowling. All the little buttons and lights and things on the on the pack that's plugged into the LAS cannon are all lit up as well, which is just a nice little bit of detail. All three of these guys have got like loads of little webbing and extra details and things on their actual uh, person as well, which has all been painted fully, which is a nice touch. And then again, we've got all the transfers and things that have been added to these. Last up, we've got the really awesome command squad. And I think from the new range of guard stuff, it's probably, along with the Sentinel, probably one of my favorite sets of models that have come out of recent for the new for the guard. Each one really unique, lots of different details. We'll start with the uh, the humble plasma gunner. Really do like the new design on the plasma gun on this. And I love the, 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 head, uh, the head sculpt on this with that rebreather. I think it just adds a lot to the model and really gives a bit more sinister kind of look uh, to what is a command model. I think it's quite cool. Again, these have all got transfers on them. I'm going to leave the commander till last. 
We've got the uh, Master Vox guy here as well with all of his gizmos and bits and bobs that he's got. He's got loads of uh, extra details on the model, the backpack, the, the, the antenna that's obviously around the back. We've got this uh, sort of parchment that's just flowing off the front. That's all been got script on it as well. Ed's done a great job of just doing all that script that's on there. All the faces, the eyes, the teeth, and everything you expect with us here at Seeds has all been painted. Um, a little bit of tread plate on his base as well, just to show that integration to the actual environment as well, which I think is quite good. Uh, we're then going to jump across to the next veteran from the squad, from the command squad. And we've got this Medicaid guy here with his uh, Medicaid handbag or, or, or bag that he's carrying. Um, he's got a bit of a balaclava on as well. Maybe he doesn't want to give away his identity. But uh, but really, really cool uh, sort of sculpts. Uh, I love the new Lasgun design as well. I think it's uh, really updating a, a sort of a classic sort of sculpt and classic weapon into a modern modern design, which I think is quite nice. So that's uh, the Medicaid guy. We're then going to do have a look at the, uh, the, the banner bearer. And Ed's done a great job of putting some free-handed text onto the banner. So you've got honour and duty, very fitting words for Astra Militarum or Imperial Guard. He's got his uh, Lasgun slung across his back. And uh, it's a very stoic, very imperial looking pose, which I just think is lovely. Just a really nice uh, overall sort of look of this miniature. Got some barbed wire just on the front of the base as well. Again, really integrating in him into the environment. And uh, last up, we'll have a look at the commander of this force. Really, really stoic pose. Looks like he's scanning for the next hill to take, perhaps, or something like that. But just really, really well done. The face and all the details has been done to a really, really stellar level. Uh, so that's just the commander from this force. Really awesome, awesome scheme. Again, nodding to that Starship Trooper kind of black and grey sort of uh, uh, uniform that they have in the film. Uh, great choice by our client. Lots of you got it in the comments that you saw it on our Instagram. Uh, so I do hope you've liked this showcase for these awesome Astra Militarum. If you would like to get your commission done with us or for some Astra Militarum or another force, do not hesitate in getting in contact with us. Head to our website and our contact form, which is linked in the description of this video. If you like this army, chuck some comments below. Let us know what you uh, what you like about the force. If you've got a favorite quote from Starship Troopers, you can chuck that in as a comment as well. But uh, do hope you like this showcase ever so much. As always, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. If you hit the bell icon, you will be notified when new videos like this one do go up on the channel. And all of our social media links can be found in the description of this video also. Thanks ever so much for watching. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.